In this video, we'll discuss emphysema, its causes, type, clinical features, geology, and pathology. Emphysema is an obstructive airway disease. Obstructive airway diseases are irreversible and permanent disorders in which air exchange does not occur due to pathology in the lung. There is abnormal permanent enlargement of the alveoli, number one, and number two is characterized by destruction of gas exchange air spaces, that is respiratory bronchioles, alveolar ducts, and alveoli. There is no fibrosis in emphysema and it's caused most commonly by cigarette smoking but also by respiratory infection, occupational conditions and alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. So what cigarette smoke causes? Number one, cigarette smoke produces chemicals that destroy lung tissue. Number two, smoke is chemotactic to neutrophils and macrophages. Number three, smoke also causes loss of cedia in the airway epithelium and predisposes to bacterial infection. Number four, smoke inactivates antitrypsin and antioxidants. What chemicals in the cigarette smoke destroy destroy the lung tissue and how oxidants from cigarette smoke pro-inflammatory cytokines elastolytic proteinases interleukin 8 tnf alpha and cd8 cell so what do they do they lead to neutrophil recruitment that in turn causes macrophage production of elastase inflammatory cell proteinases are the main substances that destroy lung parenchyma and subsequently cell anchoring leading to apoptosis what's the role of elastin and elastase in emphysema elastin is critical to the integrity of both the small airway and lung parenchyma. Increased elastase destroys elastin that decreases the elasticity and increases compliance and loss of elastic recoil leads to air space enlargement. All transretinoic acid can lead to some repair caused by damage with elastase. Why collapse occur? Destruction of extracellular elastic tissue causes loss of radial traction leading to collapse with with obstruction, especially on expiration, preventing egress of air out of the respiratory unit causing distension of the respiratory bronchial. So the loss of elastic septa causes loss of radial traction that leads to collapse with obstruction especially during expiration prevents egress of air with time that causes distension of the bronchioles. So what are the effects on alveoli in emphysema? Number one, they are perforated to form larger spaces. Number two, alveoli are inflated but cannot deflate. Surfactant secreting chlorine cell replacement occurs so that increases the surface tension. Surfactants decrease the surface tension by 2 to 10 times which prevents alveolar collapse. Absence of surfactant increases surface tension and makes the alveoli more difficult to inflate after they deflate in expiration. When the alveoli they collapse in expiration, they need to inflate in inspiration, but because of the increased surface tension, they can do that if surfactants are absent. This occurs when there is loss of chlora cells. Number three, there is loss of elastic recoil and number four, extracellular matrix destruction. So what does it cause? Loss of alveolar attachment because of loss of extracellular matrix leads to airway distortion and narrowing tendency to collapse with obstruction. There is decreased alveolar surface area for gas exchange. Why alveoli are overinflated? Alveoli are overinflated due to loss of elastic recoil due to loss of elastic septa. Because elastic septa are lost, so there is loss of elastic recoil. So they are inflated. What are the effects of loss of matrix? Number one, loss of elastic septa causes loss of elastic recoil. Number two, loss of matrix cell attachment leads to apoptosis of the structural cell of the lung. And number three, loss of extracellular matrix and cell leads to enlargement of the spaces. What are the cell types and bronchiolar level? Mononuclear cells and CD8 cells. More than 95% of the cells are macrophages and neutrophils in the bronchiolar lavage of the smoker. Mononuclear cells, what do they cause? Mononuclear 
bacterial cells in the respiratory bronchioles destroy elastic fibers in the bronchioles and alveolar duct. CD8 cells are also present in a smoker's lavage. The important point to note is that a stopping smoking in the end stage lung disease does not slow down the inflammatory response. Clinical features of emphysema. Number one, airway obstruction is a gradual process. Number two, there are three most common symptoms of COPD are cough, sputum, and dyspnea. In emphysema, on inspection, dyspnea is more than cough. Cough is minimal in dyspnea but is more in chronic bronchitis. Number two, emphysema patient may not have cyanosis at rest, whereas chronic bronchitis patients have cyanosis at rest. Number three, these patients use accessory muscles of respiration. And what are those accessory muscles of respiration? Sternomastoid, scalene, and intercostal muscle. Number four, patient is sitting in a tripod position. Number five, patients have pursed lip breathing. Why do the patient have pursed lip breathing? Patient cannot expel the inhaled air. Destruction of the elastic tissue causes collapse of the airway on expiration. So patient learns to expire slowly with pursed lip. Number six, they, say they have a long narrow barrel shaped chest. Number seven, patients are wasted with diffused loss of subcutaneous adipose tissue and bitemporal wasting due to, due to what? Inadequate food intake and elevated levels of inflammatory cytokines, tumor necrosis factor and interleukin-8. And number eight, patients are hyperventilating and tachypneic. And number nine, Hoover sign. What's Hoover sign? Inward movement of the rib cage on inspiration is Hoover sign. And why does it occur? It occurs due to hyperinflation and diaphragmatic flattening contraction. What's the effect of hyperinflation on diaphragm? Hyperinflation pushes the diaphragm down and flatten its position, thus hindering rib cage movements and impairing inspiration. The percussion note is hyperresonant and on auscultation, the breath sounds are decreased. There is bronchial breathing with prolonged expiratory phase and expiratory wheeze. Types of emphysema, centriacinar or centrilobular and number two, panacinar or panlobular. Centriacinar emphysema occurs in smokers and is characterized by enlarged spaces and that destroy the central portion of secondary lobule. What part of the lobes it affects? It affects the respiratory bronchioles of the upper part of the upper lobe and upper part of the lower lobe. The panacinar emphysema, it destroys alveoli uniformly. And the Number two, it affects the lower lobe compared to the centrilobular one, which affects the central part of the lobule. Panacinar variety is associated with alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. Alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency occurs as inherited disorder. Emphysema developing in a young patient may be due to alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. Alpha-1 antitrypsin is produced in the liver and in lungs. It helps to combat inflammation. A deficiency of alpha-1 antitrypsin leads to destruction of alveoli. Lung function test in emphysema. So what parameters of lung functions are decreased and what parameters are increased in emphysema? The parameters that are decreased in emphysema are that number one, decreased FEV1. What's the percentage of FEV1 in mild, moderate and severe cases of emphysema and bronchitis? In mild cases of emphysema, FEV1 is more than 80% and in moderate cases, it's less than 80%. In severe cases, FEV1 is less than 50% and in very severe cases it's less than 30% but FEV1 of less than 50% in respiratory failure and right heart failure is very severe condition instead of severe condition. There is decreased forced vital capacity. Number three decreased ratio of FEV1 to FEV and there is no response to bronchodilators which occurs in asthma. Number four there is decreased expiratory flow rate decreased airway resistance and air trap, decreased elasticity, decrease in diffusing capacity in emphysema. Parameters that are increased in emphysema are increased total lung capacity because of the air trapping, increased residual volume because of the air trapping, 
increase ratio of residual volume to total lung capacity increase compliance and decrease elasticity increase minute ventilation prevents lung collapse as volume increases elastic recoil pressure increases and airway enlarges so that airway resistance decreases ventilation perfusion mismatch in emphysema what's ventilation perfusion if ventilation is reduced in a part of a lung the blood supply to that part is reduced the blood vessels are constricted. Ventilation perfusion mismatching is characteristic of COPD. Ventilation perfusion mismatching accounts for essentially all of the reduction in arterial oxygen. If there is inability to correct hypoxemia in COPD patient, then it may be due to other causes. On what stage of the disease arterial oxygen decreases and carbon dioxide increases? Arterial oxygen usually remains near normal until until when? Until FEV1 is reduced to less than 50% and carbon dioxide remains normal until FEV1 is reduced to less than 25%. So when FEV1 is reduced to less than 25%, carbon dioxide increases. And when FEV1 is reduced to less than 50%, then oxygen decreases. PCO2 in chronic emphysema is 0.03 units per 10 millimeters of mercury in chronic states. And what's respiratory failure? Respiratory failure is defined as carbon dioxide more than 45 millimeters of mercury. FEV1 may be decreased with a normal car oxygen level. Okay. When to intubate the patient? When carbon dioxide is more than 50 millimeters of mercury and oxygen is less than 50 millimeters of mercury and a pH is less than 7.3. The X-ray chest in emphysema. It's hyperinflated, paucity of parenchymal markings, hyperlucency, increased lung volume and flattening of the diaphragm. Pneumothorax and lung collapse. Rupture of emphysematous bullae leads to lung collapse causing pneumothorax and the appearance of pneumothorax x-ray chest is that vesicular marking decrease so there is a jet black appearance of that part or whole lung depending on the pneumothorax in it. The heart. Heart is a small and there is a right ventricular hypertrophy. Definite diagnosis of emphysema is done by CT scan. What's multifactorial index? Airflow obstruction, exercise performance, dyspnea and body mass index is a better predictor of mortality than pulmonary function alone.